Hello, Daz community. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to my tutorial series. Now, as you can see, tonight I am going to do my challenge by updating my Daz Studio to 4.23. I've had a couple requests and questions about the update, and I thought I would just update it for you right now. Now, before I update, I did look through the Daz forums. I kind of perused everything, double checked that there isn't any red flags in the community. Everything looks okay. I haven't really found anything in Daz Studio that makes me hesitate to do the upload, so I think we're gonna go ahead and do it. 4.22, everything is working well. Um, this is just an old Daz scene that I have set up for when I did a tutorial with Milica and DeForce. So this is all set up. I did notice that I still have a problem with some of these old scenes. I have to select her hair. And uh, before we can run any tests, I gotta go to surfaces and get rid of this OO hair issue where it causes a crash. So I'm gonna just hit the trans and my transmitted color is blank. I just have to come up here and hit none. Now it's good. Now I should be able to do a eye ray preview. And so this is just to show you that everything is working in 4.22 like it should. I'm gonna then exit out and we're gonna go into Download Manager and let's update. All right, so everything is looking good. Okay, so I'm in the Install Manager and you can see I have quite a few updates. I have some product updates. I haven't um, done this in a while. So I'm gonna hit and let's update the products first. We'll get all of the product updates updated. And then you can see right here is Daz Studio 4.23, so we're going to do that next. Okay, so I have all of my products updated. Now let's go ahead and do the Daz update. Cross your fingers. Let's hope that everything goes the way it's supposed to. All right, it started the update of 4.23. We're at uh, 9%. Let's see what happens. Things are starting to go fast now. That Genesis 9 Starters Essential is a big update. So I wonder what's going to be new in the Essentials. I'm kind of curious. We'll check it out. Okay, the downloads are complete. Now it's installing. I have had some issues installing updates in the past where I had to do it multiple times. So hopefully nothing like that's going to happen today. But let's see. Looks like it's installing just fine so far. There it goes. Sweet. All right. So everything is installed. I'm going to X out of Install Manager. Let's go back to Daz Studio. All right. Opening up Daz Studio looks different. Obviously, it's going to have, you know, different graphics and stuff like that. And here we go. All right, let's see if I can open up that same Milica scene that I had just a minute ago. So the Milica D-Force. Hopefully, it'll just open right up and I can start working just like nothing happened. All right, so I've been playing around with this for a few minutes. Everything looks to be fine. I don't see any problems, of course. You know, I haven't done things like try and use Mesh Grabber. That was one of the things that um, I was warned about had a bug. So I'm going to go to Mesh Grabber. Let's see if it works okay. I'm just going to take Milica's dress here. Let's use Mesh Grabber to try and just move this strap a little bit. See if we can save it and open it up again. Just do a few tests to see if everything is working properly. So it looks like right now, at least that Mesh Grabber is working just fine, like it usually does. That is good news. Um, I think I read what the problem with um, 4.23 is. It won't save it. So hopefully we'll not have a problem. So I just kind of moved that. Let's go back to our 
selection node. We're gonna save this and let's just exit out, go back in, see if we can load up the picture. All right, so I'm just uploading the scene again so we can see if Mesh Grabber was saved. And it looks like Mesh Grabber is working just fine. So that's a bonus. You can see your dress is still moved just like it was when I changed it. So let's check out the Genesis 9 Essentials, see what we've got here. All right, as I go to Genesis 9 Starter Essentials, I'm not seeing a whole lot of new different stuff. Uh, there might be some makeup weight. Was that there before? Honestly, I haven't checked this out. There is a cartoon version. One of the things I did hear about uh, the new DAS 4.23 is you can do a tune version, and I'm gonna explore that a little bit and then probably make a tutorial on that. So we've got this G9 anime base. So that's kind of interesting. It'll be interesting to play around with that. I don't know what I do with it, but I do know this, this is all new here, this anime. Look at that stuff. This is gonna be interesting to play with. Turn Milica into an anime character could be kind of interesting. We'll see what that's all about as I play around. Genesis Starter Essentials. You notice I'm getting this download tab as I play around with stuff now. I think Daz has to find what I'm exploring and uh, upload it. So kind of interesting that that's going on. This may be different. I don't remember this. I'll play around with it even more. But um, it looks like overall the update is successful. Not having a whole lot of problems here so the good news is it looks like the update is okay I played around a little bit with the mesh grabber it seems to be fine um, I'm gonna render up this picture here for a thumbnail just to make sure that everything is working with the render but I'm not having any issues I think you might be good to go if I find some bugs or some issues I will definitely let you know immediately but for right now I think our update is pretty good I haven't had any crashes any major problems of course I've only been playing with it for literally a few minutes so we'll see when I start opening up some uh, real scenes that I use if we have any issues with different props or assets as I get into using this more and more. But so far, so good. I think you'll be okay if you get your update. The one annoying thing is it is using this download tab. I hit the render button and Daz Studio has to think about this. This is new, but I have had this issue pop up literally in the past a little bit and I do still want to move all my content over to that new hard drive and I think when I do that it may be just a complete wipeout, reinstall DAS, get all my content and then maybe try and get some organization to the props and everything a little bit better than what I have now. This is probably something that's going to be happening around the first of the year. I don't want to do that right now at all and mess everything up before I get some work I need done finished. I certainly don't want to mess up Daz Studio in the middle of various projects. So we'll see what happens. But right now it's um, having trouble rendering. Um, I'm sure it'll do it here in a minute, but it's trying to find all of the props from this scene before it renders. Although this is pretty inconvenient, I'm sure it's just kind of a one-time thing. If I open it up again, it probably wouldn't have to do that. So hopefully we'll get into a render here. All right, so it seems to be rendering. Let's let this render. Really good news, I've been playing with this for the last couple of days and the render queue still works and I'm getting good renders. The speeds are the same. There's really no change in most of my work that I've done since the update. So I'm pretty pleased with this new DAS. I really think that you are safe to upgrade. I know a lot of you are always hesitant to upgrade because of your fear that 
all these bugs will mess things up. And I've got to say, you know, in the past that is an issue. I never update without reading all the forums and doing all the work to make sure that it's going to be safe. But I would say right now, if you are interested in the new update 4.23, it is safe and ready to go. So in the not too distant future, I'll be looking at some of the new features of 4.23 and I'll be making some tutorials on those. So I hope you stay tuned. We'll look at the Genesis 9 cartoon characters, maybe play around with that a little bit, see if we can get some different renders going. And I did promise that I will be upgrading to the Premiere, at least to test it out to see what's going on. And I'll be making some tutorials on the Premiere site as well. We'll look at what features come with that, and then you can make a decision whether you want to try and dive into the Premiere membership. Have you already updated to 4.23? If you haven't, what are your apprehensions? If you have, have you had any problems? So just let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Happy rendering with the new Daz Studio.